Ahoy mateys! Hey, today let's talk a little bit about the tension of your stays. Well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is Lucent Company helps take some of the guesswork out of what the tension ought to be. Now they make three different gauges and it's a, a function of how big your stays are, the size of your cable. So this is the middle one and there's one for smaller cables and one for bigger cables. Now there's certain tolerances that your uh, stays should be within and that helps right here. They've got a, a, a little thing on here. The bad news is you're not going to find a chart somewhere that says you have ABC boat and your stays are a uh, quarter inch and you have such and such a sail so your tension needs to be 900. Well the tension on the stays is also a function of sailing performance, the shape of the sail. But you know there are certain tolerances that you should be within and loose helps take the guesswork out of that. Now you may say to yourself, well, hey, I'm not a professional rigger. What do I need this for? <laughs> All the more reason you need one of these. You know, these professional riggers, they can go around and they can test things out pretty well. Here, you want to make sure that you're somewhere in the tolerance levels of this and then fine tune it as you get more comfortable and learn more about sailing. Especially racing sailors, tension is very, very important. Well, let's talk with Eddie, the shop foreman here at the Sailing Emporium, who is a professional rigger, to give us some general guidelines as to what we should be looking for and what we should have on our stays. And then he's going to come on board my boat and we're going to go through the process of how to use this gauge and how to tighten the stays. All right, guys, so here we are with Ed, a professional rigger, to give us a little more information. Now, Ed, as a typical cruising sailor, how tight do I want my rigging to be? You want it, uh, you don't want it tight, tight, but you do want it on a tight side. Because what you want to do is that, so when you're sailing, if you're on a, a starboard tack, then the, 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 uh, the, the rigging on the port side is not loose. You want everything to stay tight. So when, let's say when the wind's coming across the starboard side, pushing the sail and everything that way, then if, if everything is too loose, then all you rigging, you'll be able to see it when you're sailing on the port side will hang loose. And then vice versa, if you're on a port tack, then all the wind, all the rigging on the starboard side will be loose. You don't want to be able to see it moving around in the wind. You say you okay, want it so tight enough so, so it's wants it to be a little bit tighter than looser. Yes. Okay. Now on this gauge here, we've got now I've got quarter inch stays. I've right. already tested that guys. So here we're gonna go on anywhere from four hundred and fifty pounds of tension to 2,000. Where, where do I want to be? I'd, probably, this thing? I'd start somewhere with that, somewhere about in the in the middle. So maybe somewhere around the uh, the 900 to 1100, somewhere in that area, the 11 to 13 percent. All right. Now, is that for all the stays or just the two main well, ones that go up to the, the top? The of uppers that? and the forward and the lowers will be tighter than your uh, uh, the uppers, your back stay and head stay will be tighter than your lowers will be. Okay. So. We're going to go out to the boat and see where I am. Now, I did notice, I, I, guys, I took my main halyard and I brought it down. I measured on the starboard side and I brought it over to the port side and I seem to be off a little bit there. Uh, you know, so the mast is not quite straight. So right. I want to straighten that out yeah, you first. You want to get it in the center of the boat as far as side to side. You, okay. want to have, you don't want it more towards the starboard side, the top, or the port. You want to have it, try and get it dead center of the boat. Okay, yeah. now, what stage do we... Are those the first ones we want the, to the uppers, tighten? We will start with the uppers yeah, and get the masthead in the center of the boat as far as side to side. Okay, right. and then we're going to do the ones that go up to the uh, spreaders. Do the lowers, yeah, because then that way, once you get to the top of the mast in the center, then you work down and you get the rest of the mast lined up with it. Okay, okay. and so the tension is really a matter of um, the size of the cable? Yes. Yep. And sail shape and the kind of sailing you're doing? Yes, yeah, yep. 
All right, well guys, let's go out and just see how we do this, how we test this, and then how we actually adjust the turnbuckles to get the right tension. All right, let's go out. Okay. What we want to do is make sure the top of the masthead is in the center of the boat side to side. So what we've done, we've got a line hook here to the uh, main halyard, and we're just going to stretch it down to the top of the staunch and, uh, and then go over to the other side and see how they compare. You always want to make sure that whatever you use, it's the same on both sides. That way you get a good, accurate measurement. Okay? Okay. So we'll pull it down, and the top of the staunch is right here. So we'll go to the other side of the boat and do the same thing and see how far off we are. All right, are. so Eddie has given me this. Let me see what we got here. Uh, All right, you can see we are that far off. So the mast, is, the top of the mast is actually heading towards the starboard side of the boat. So what we want to do is... Uh, is either loosen up on the starboard side and crank up on the port so we pull it over to get it straight or just crank up on the port if the rigging is loose enough maybe we can pull it over and straighten it out that way and then once you get it in the center then you take up evenly on both sides so that the uh, everything is tight the same tightness on both sides and the mess uh, stays in the center of the boat okay okay we're going to check the tension now on this we're going to use the loose gauge to check the tension on the upper Okay, uh, to use this, uh, we've added this safety feature here. We're just going to clip this right there so if we drop it, it doesn't fall overboard. Okay? Now you just uh, put the stays in between these two uh, knobs down here at the bottom. And then you pull back on this and let it clip in there. And that's where you get your reading from. You can see it's on about 17. All right, then we look down this gauge here, and 17 is up here. We need to be down in this area here somewhere. So that's telling us we need to tighten up on this port upper to get the one thing to get the mast over this way but also tighten up on the rig all together all right yeah i'm pretty far off there ed all right now let's look down at the turnbuckle and how do i actually do that okay okay then once you get the locking nut loose it's like uh you do not not all boats have the locking nuts sometimes they just have the stud coming down into the turnbuckle and then there's just cotter pins going through to hold it in place so if you have that you just pull those cotter pins out and it's ready to uh, loosen or tighten all right, now to tighten this, we're going to put the wrench on a flat spot of the swedge fitting here, coming down the rigging. And you can stick a screwdriver into the turnbuckle, the body of the turnbuckle, and then turn it. Uh, most time it's counterclockwise to tighten. So we will put a few turns on this and then check our tension gauge and see how much it changed. Okay, All right, go so ahead. I'm tightening it up on the turnbuckle and we'll see how it changes on the uh, gauge as I'm tightening it up on this. Well, this is pretty good, Ed, because we've got the gauge in place, and as you're tightening, I can see it's moving, and we're getting closer to, let me see what number we wanted. We wanted 32, and we're at 25 right now. So we're getting there. Okay, but now before we tighten up too far on this, what we ought to do is check the top of the masthead again to see if we're getting closer to pulling the mast back over to the side. Okay, we don't want to go too far this way, because then we'll have to loosen up on this side and pull it back on the other side. Okay, so we want to take it in small increments. Yes. Small yes. increments. Yep. All right, well, let's test this and see where we are on our, our straightening. On the side, we are now to here, so we'll take it over right. to the other side. All right, I'll take that. Still a little bit needs to go to port just a little bit more, but we're getting real close because uh, right now the oh wait you're going down further. So actually right now we have gone too far to the port side, so we need to tighten up on the starboard side and bring the mast head back over this way a little bit. All right, so now we're going to bring the gauge back over here and work on this one. Okay, you can see we're right on 25 over here, so we still need to get down into this area here, around 30, 32. So when we tighten that, we bring that down, we're also going to be tightening the other side too then, right? Yes, yeah, we're going to be pulling the other side. So okay. we'll the mass hit back in the center, and at the same time we'll be tightening the rig, both the uppers to get it where it needs to get. Tighten it up on the starboard side now to bring the mass hit back over this way, and then also tighten everything down to get it where it needs to be on the gauge. All right, so now, Ed, we're up to about... 26, 27. All right, so now we're on 30 here. Now we need to check for our straightness again. Yes, we'll check the straightness again. And then if we're still, if we still want to make it tighter at that point, if the mass is in the middle, then we want to take up the same on both sides. Take a turn here, take a turn there, or two turns here, two turns there. So that way, once it's in the center, we'll keep it in the center. Okay, so we're we're going to kind of just bounce back and forth. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, pretty much right at the same. Uh, 
same height from, from each side to side. So we got the mast pretty much in the center of the boat now. So then what we'll do, we'll work down from that. Uh, we'll go down to the lowers and get the middle of the mast lined up with the top and the bottom. We got okay. set on 30, uh, which is about midway of where I wanted to get it at. Uh, we'll leave it there. We'll get everything tightened and pinned and, and locked back in place. And then we'll, we'll start with the, uh, the forward and aft lowers, get them uh, tensioned and get the middle of the mast lined up with the top and the bottom. And then you can take it out sailing and check things out. And then we'll recheck it once you come back in. All right, so now on these other ones that we're going to do here, here, this thing here. Got your aft lowers what, and forward lowers. All right, those need to be the same tension? No, they will not be as tight as the, as the uppers are. I'll oh, okay. I'll probably put those somewhere around the uh, 20, 26, 28, somewhere in that range. Okay, all, all right. right, so we're going to do that next. Okay. All right. All right, Ed, so now i got a pretty good idea of how this thing works. It's really, it's pretty neat. Um, I don't want to tie you up. I'll go ahead and do the forward and aft stays. And can you come back and check me then? Sure. Yeah, I'll come back and check it. But uh, just don't forget when you get done, make sure all the turn bubbles are locked back down. So these nuts, will, this will screw to, down to the top and the bottom will screw up to the bottom. And then once you've done that, you can also, as an extra safety thing, put in these cotter rings that will go through the turnbuckle and then the holes in the studs there. And that will keep those turn bubbles from backing out on their own. All right. Well, I'm going to give her a shot, Ed. Man, I'll tell you what. I am just really shocked at how loose these stays were and how crooked my mast was. I'm going to feel a lot better about heading out tomorrow. Well, your sailing should be a lot better. <laughs> well, thank you. All right, Ed. What do you think? Well, first thing I'm going to check, I want to make sure you got the mast in a straight column going all the way up. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to look at the sail track. If it's off one way or the other, either in the middle, it'll look like a snake or it'll look like a banana. It'll be bent. Uh, so I'm just going to look up the mast to see if it looks straight. Actually, Dominic, you've done a pretty good job. The mass track is straight all the way to the very top. Wow. All right. Hey, all right, so, so next thing we want to do probably is to check the tension on all the rigging to make sure that everything's at the proper tension. Okay. Okay, and you've got that on, uh, actually, you actually put it in pretty well. It's up on 29. So you're right in the area where, where I wanted you to be. All right, okay. so as long as this one's the same, and then what you want to do is just take this off of here and go over to the, uh, the port side and make sure that everything is set to the proper tension on both sides, which I would say they're going to be because if not, the mast will be pulled over to that side of the boat when I looked at that column, it wouldn't have been straight. And that you've got it exactly on 29, so that looks good. All right, so I'm ready to be a professional rigger? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but you will be able to go out and adjust your sails and get it fine-tuned for you to, uh, to sail the boat, you know, to what it's supposed to be sailed at. Now I get this cable out of the way here, Eddie. Well, Ed, I really appreciate the help on this. I think it'll be helpful for a lot of cruisers. Um, I'm headed out tomorrow, so I'm going to give it a test. Okay, well, good. I, I, you definitely will see an improvement in the sale, and I'm sure of that. All right, All right, thank you. You're welcome. Guys, you see how easy that was? Didn't take long at all, and I'll tell you what, I feel much better about going out sailing tomorrow, knowing that I've got even tension. I mean, this thing was so far off, it was unbelievable. Um, this, I think, is going to be very very handy to have on board on a regular basis well, anyway guys happy and safe boating to you your family and friends